And who's this D? This is Larry, is this it? This is Larry, our little flight one. You want to move him the one Hello, buddy. He's, um, a rich, the lady bought him for $1,000 off a breeder. She had him in the yard and unfortunately a contractor let him, left the gate open and Larry fled. Yep. And it was days. We were chasing him all over town, trying to get him. And eventually I trapped him into a tennis court with the aid of a ranger and some members of the public. And he has just gone strength to strength in the facility where yeah. other dogs don't cope. He actually likes that yeah. system. Yeah. Gee, that's great. He's a handsome boy. And he he knows is. It. Look at him. Very good looking. Just wait a minute. And he's a standard poodle, dude. He's a standard yep. poodle, yeah. And this is Venus, is this that right? Venus. <laughs> Good girl. Jesus, <laughs> oh. Does D Venus have a story? Is there Venus was actually tied up to the sale yard? Oh. Good boy. Good and um, just left. I've since found out who their owner is. Okay. There was another dog, so we don't know where that what's happened to that one. Okay. But yeah, she was just left up at the sale yard. On a weekend, just oh dear. That's so yeah. sad, dude. She has a lot of um, anxiety. Right. So we have her in a kennel. She literally does not stop barking from 24/7. She makes herself that sick. So now mm. she's got. We've got her living in our exercise run, mm -hmm. and a lady just donated a kennel which we put into there, and mm -hmm. she, she's actually she's coping. happy with that. She's coping quite well. Yeah. So. And she seems to be really good with other dogs and oh, we've, we've sent her out to foster with a lady for Christmas who could only have her for a week because she works away yep. and she's since come back and had her again with her dog and she's very respectful. Her other dog doesn't know how to play. Venus actually reads her really well and just doesn't push it. How brilliant is that? Yeah. But unfortunately, the other the other dog just doesn't want a friend, just Aww. doesn't want it. So she comes and grabs her when she can. Yep. Oh, that's lo she sounds like a lovely lady. And we did actually originally send her out to another rescue, but she did some damage to the foster carer's home. Oh, when she goes out... she was anxious. She was yeah. anxious. And so they said, look, either you take her back or we've got no really other choices for her. Yeah. And so we, of course, took her took back. Took her back, yeah. And, um, yeah, we're getting to know know her and know what sort of environment she needs. Yes. She just needs to be around somebody. Yeah. Um, they yep. can go out for about an hour before she starts to get anxious. Mm -hmm. But we're thinking if she's got another dog, mm, she, she might, might be okay. She might be a bit better. Yep. Mm -hmm. One that actually interacts with her. Yeah. Because the foster carer that comes and gets her when she can, yep. her dog has nothing to do with her. Yeah. They just, she just That makes total it. sense, Dee. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to go up for a run? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Please give him a time off. Yeah, that's him good. He likes the girls, so he's a lady. <laughs> oh, good, good on you, Larry. What a great name. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's got the hippity hops. She heard the motorbike and was like, <gasps> oh, What's that? Either of them are pie. Look at him, he's so happy. And look at her, she just wants to play. Yeah. You're over there. You, you started walking over there first. Go, Larry! <laughs> he looks happy, doesn't he? <laughs> Venus. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi. Oh, yeah, you're having a good time? You're having a good time? Look at you. Look at you. Hi. Hi. Everybody actually thinks that she's 
dirty, but that's, that's yeah. a good colour. Yeah. That's a colouring. Which is one of the impound dogs that never got claimed. Was That's it, Mac. Was he there when we were up there? Yes. Because what two of the labs had to be separated, didn't they? There were two black labs up there. They never came together. Right. One was um, a Cessnock impound dog and one was the Maitland. And one was that one had a bite warning or was that a yes, different one? Correct. Yeah. And which yeah. one's this one? Not the one with the bite warning. <laughs> They're still up there? No, no. Got him home to oh. his owner. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, so he just came in as a, a stray. A stray. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Unfortunately, this one, um, Mac, yeah. I suspect he was dumped by his owner. Yeah. Oh. Right. It's sad. And, isn't I, it? and I always come to that conclusion anyway when, they're yeah. not, when nobody rings and looks for their yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit weird. What else would you come to that conclusion? Because if my animal got Absolutely. out, I'd be ringing non stop. Have you seen my dog? I'd be putting it up on Facebook. I'd be walking the streets. So when we have an animal for seven to 14 days and not one phone call, you tell me what that means. 100 percent No. Because even people that... And I know that everybody who will be watching this is going to be going at the screen. Absolutely. If that was my dog, if I lost my dog, hey, I would be searching day and uh, night. I would be ringing, Joey. you know, yeah, every mate, possible pound hard, vet, right? you, you know, Absolutely. you'd be just so heartbroken and distraught. And you'd be worried, are they okay? Have they been yeah. hurt? Has someone stolen my dog? Am I going to find my animal ever again? You know what I mean? I've had people that are scared that their animal's at the pound because they haven't got the money to get it out. Yeah. But they ring. Is, is there yeah. anything you can do? And that's is why you've got those... Um, that's why we've got Freedom Buster. Yeah. So that's your idea, D, that's isn't right. it? That's my yeah. idea. Because those people have come forward. So for can you animal. tell us what, what that is? Just for everyone, if they don't know yeah. what that thing is. So we created a thing years ago called Freedom Buster. So... There's a lot of people that are really good pet owners, but they live week to week. They've got yeah. the money to feed their animal and do that. But to come up with say $400 or $300 at the drop of a hat yeah. to get their animal out of impound, because a lot of the times when the dogs come, they're not registered. Yeah. And animals can't leave the pound unregistered. It's, right. It's against the law. Right. So immediately it's a kind of a really big slog yeah. to them. Now those people will come forward and they'll say, "Oh, look, are they okay? Yeah. Is there a pain?" They're genuinely pain? concerned. They want their they dog want back. Their they back. love their dog. They, yeah. They just don't. They're not in a position with the money. Correct. Yeah. So what we do is, as a registered charity, we get them to tell us their story, why they need the community to help, and let's face it, we're all doing it tough. Yeah. Um, we put it up. People can donate five dollars, twenty dollars. We've had people pay the whole impound fee. Yeah. And we give them a tax deductible receipt, so mm -hmm. they get not only the benefit of helping somebody get their animal back, but they get a tax deductible receipt. Yeah, and that's also one less dog in um, in the pound. So there's a spot there that where it for a dog that actually needs it. It's always easier to get an animal home yeah. than to find it a new home. So just for everybody at home, because I know that um, some people are going to be asking the question, and I know that you've got a really good reason for this. Um, as to why um, you would charge somebody to have their dog come home. Now, I know it's not you, yeah. Dee, but I know that answer. So yes. if you could explain it to everybody. So the councils do charge an impound fee. One, they've got to maintain the facility. Um, they've got electricity. They've got water. They've got staffing to pay for. It also serves, I guess, in a way as... It puts an onus back onto the owners to be a bit more responsible. The dog cannot roam. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you've got dogs that are dog aggressive. If there's somebody's walking along with their dog out on a walk yep. and you've got a, a dog that's roaming that's not great, what do you think happens? Yeah. You know, not only do the animals get into a fight, but usually a human gets hurt mm. trying to break them up. Mm -hmm. So I guess in that way, one, it's a, a fee to maintain the facility, but it's also saying, hey, you've got a responsibility yeah. to make sure your animal doesn't escape. And the other one is lifetime registration. We all have to pay rego mm. on our cars. Dogs, are, our animals are no different. Yeah. There's a registration fee. Yeah. In so whether whether you believe it on in it or not, it doesn't really matter. It's a yeah. it's a rule. It's a law. Yeah. You know. Well, that so, registration 
doesn't go back to the councils. It actually goes back to the Office of Local Government who then allocate funds to each council for ranges. Mm. So, you know, ranges have always out, not only with parking and stuff, but actually dog attacks and mm. barking dog complaints. So that money comes back to the councils in a certain way to provide that support that we, we all ring up and say, oh, look, there's a dangerous dog and it's barking at me. We all call for help. Mm. That is there so that there is help available. Mm. And so they, they have to pay it. Yeah, yeah. Some states do it yearly. New South Wales does it for the lifetime of the animal. Yeah. But every state has it. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you're just, you're implementing something um, and it probably is very unique. You know, um, I mean, I haven't heard about it in other shelters and it's something that you've come up with and that is where the community can help this individual who's not doing, yeah. so it's doing it tough at the moment. Correct. And, and help this dog get home, yeah. you know. We actually won a, an award for it um, a couple of years ago, the Rescue Awards, because it was such a, you know, a great thing. And I think, you know, we've sent maybe 100, 200 animals home oh. under that Freedom Buster. It's definitely something to be proud of, Dee. It is, and yep. that's, that has saved those dogs from not being claimed, mm. having to find new homes, and that's if they were, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, they uh, weren't that's... taken another path. I mean, because mm -hmm. we've actually, not only is our Freedom Buster for our facility, which, you know, our animals always save, we've actually helped other pounds. Yes. With um, some animals, they've rang up and said, look, Wow. Can you help us? Yeah. yeah. We'll run a freedom buster for that animal. If Larry's interested maybe in lure cause, I mean, he's, I'm a, going off his breed. he's a poodle. Yeah, he's going off his breed. I haven't shown it to him yet. Oh, buddy. Hopefully he will love it. We'll just get him over this way and then I'll shoot it across the ground. Okay, yeah. Come here, big boy. <laughs> he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. Except when I was chasing him all over town, trying to catch him for the owner. And um, we can get him out of his kennel without a lead. We take him and best the beagle mum out to the yard, no leads. And then we say, come on, back to your kennels. He goes and puts himself back to bed. Wow. Where some dogs don't cope in the kennel, he loves it. Yeah, right. It's his happy place. He probably loves the structure and routine and you know and there's yeah. like lots of people around lots of lovely happy people and i'm wondering if that comes from his background of being like from a breeder like that you know they would usually oh, have them yeah. all in cages as well so that's all he knows yeah, yeah possibly yeah Ho hope and faith liked the, the kennel <gasps> what is it he'll be the only um non-prey driven poodle. I don't know what that is, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good thing, buddy. Good thing for uh, Sorry. Sorry. To me? Yeah. Larry! Larry! Oh, he's Here's a pia. <gasps> Go get it. He's not. Hey, that's okay, bud. And you know, Sam, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's he doesn't. He's usually very shy and timid with people. So to go with yeah, you right. guys, he thinks you guys are good people. Oh, buddy. I think you're pretty cool too. Hello, buddy boy. How are you? They've Shelby... got beautiful coats, haven't they? Yeah, I think Venus. Shelby once described him on his card as a sheep dog with legs. Uh, <laughs> a sheep with giraffe legs. <laughs> she she's just so happy to have <laughs> all the like as soon as she got through that gate Leanne put her through, she just like took off. <laughs> Clearly she needs to inspect the whole boundary. Yeah.
the be the beagles. The um, did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't you have to go on your bike and go yeah, find them? Find them? Which was very expected of them, you know. Venus, come on, Venus. And I think the greyhounds, they were a bit like oh, that too. They I loved, that too. you know. I've got a greyhound. Uh, I've got two greyhound breeders constantly asking. It's a little bit fun. Oh, there you go. He he was definitely a ta a tad bit interested. He was. You having fun? What are you doing? We're not even sure why he hasn't been adopted yet. That is I find how long has we he been up for adoption, Dee? Honey, how long ago did you put him up? A few weeks. A few weeks. That is odd, isn't it? Especially we were talking about it in the car. Standard and doodle. Our bonded pair of oodles got adopted yesterday. They only came in a week ago. Yeah, I do find oh, that. There. I do find that strange. But I mean, I don't know. You guys are the ones with experience. But um, is it just well, like it, you? You never know. Like it's, or it is usually very. Never saw a standard poodle come in in any regard. Yeah, right. So I would have thought that having one up for adoption, he would have been. We would have had people lining up for him. Mm. He's only one as well. It's not like he's old or anything. He's only a pup. Still. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not even um, like crazy puppy. No, he's you know, because usually they're chill. so goofy yeah. and all over the place, and oh, someone will come and get you, you big fluffy white boy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need a thirtieth dog, don't you? <laughs> thirtieth. Stop it, Meg Queen. <laughs> you got, you guys have got the sign that says, um, you know, there's always room for one more. I know. That's what I say to Don every time I say to Don, we need to bring this one home. And Don's like, no, we don't, Dee. And I'm like, but there's always room for one more. That's right, the sign. <laughs> I thought that was a strategic place for us. <laughs> when we got there. Yeah. This is conveniently outside of Diesel's. <laughs> <laughs> Directly opposite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to work it. You, I said to Dee when I first saw him, you know who would love this dog? And she said who? And I said Luke. <laughs> he, he loves it here. You should see him. He's just not. Yeah. Sure. He's he, got he, some really odd behaviours yeah. though. Has he not? The barking well, at nothing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was doing that in his kennel and in the cement yards. He'd yep. just stare at the wall or the floor mm. and just bark and. Buries his head into yeah. the corner and. We took him to the vet yesterday just um, just to start um, any investigation if there is anything that is there underlying, yeah. just so that if it's just behavioural, like as in it's just yeah. a training thing, then fine. Yeah. But if there's something else going on, because... So bloods just to see if there's any sort of issues, like maybe a liver shunt or something like that, where yeah. it's playing up uh, with it's... His balance, but... It, to me, it seems like it might be a bit of a coping mechanism, like a high energy dog that's not being stimulated and he's just decided to try and find his own game, but there's nothing there that he's... Well, what's do what's his background like? He was with a, a gentleman and looking at all the pictures on his, on his posts and stuff, like the dog was his everything and he ended up selling his house and moving into an apartment. Oh. That's such a common thing these days. Can't have the animals. So he put him over at a relative's house, like the father. The father's got a couple of dingoes. They weren't getting along. So I know that he was in a small section and I think they said maybe just with an electric fence around it. So I don't think he might've got a lot of stimulation. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not real sure, but- That's really all sad that- is that he was segregated. Mm. Yeah, and if like even, even a dog with a yard of his, energy requirements he'll go crazy yeah but he needs to run and that's the thing i don't understand when people in suburbia 
and get these working dog things and think that they can put them in the backyard, not walk yeah. them, not socialise them. I've, I've got a yard, it'll be fine. Yeah. And then mm. they wonder why the dog is misbehaving. Yeah. Right? Mm. And the first thing they think is the dog's got to go. They don't look at what they haven't done for that dog. Mm. They just think that dog's not fitting with us. Yeah. They haven't done anything to fit with that dog. Mm. It's like when people get cattle dogs and then say, it's nipping the heels of my children. It's like, well, mm. they're bred to nip the heels of cattle. Like if you've got them in a backyard and you're not giving them stimulation, of course they're going to find their own thing to do. Mm. It's what they've been bred to do. Mm. Like, Look at that gallop. Yeah, he's happy, isn't he? <laughs> Running at nothing, just free. <laughs> no issues. Venus is like, no, you got this. Yeah. I'll, I'll just take my pace. <laughs> I, I do love it when the dogs are let out into this yeah. yard. Even our dogs yeah. do this. Like it's just, just such a so big excited. area. Yeah. They they get really excited about it. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello, big boy. Hi. You have a son? Hi. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? What's this? Get it. Get it, get it. Look. She's looking. <laughs> it just makes it more exciting. <laughs> and they found some other people, but they said you could only have two dogs. So. <laughs> when they've got them or at all? So he was playing with a tennis ball and Bess just walked past him, wasn't going for the toy. Yeah, he, he had it in his up. mouth. Um, no, it was on the ground in front of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, just. I don't know if he'll he see doesn't that seem overly he, interested. He, he yeah. probably yeah. he loves his, yeah. he loves these tennis balls. Right. Yeah, this is probably not that valuable yeah, to so him. So if he's got something in possessive and he's guarding, it sounds like. But this is a bit more of a communal yeah. thing. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. yeah, we were just saying that one of the little Jack Russells would go mental. For oh yeah, the little hunter. Oh, I love really, him. would love to see him have yeah. a go. You <laughs> I was going to say, we can swap him over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's done anyway. Yeah. He's had, he's had a great run. <laughs> Haven't you, Larry? And Venus seemed to like it there too yeah, on that yeah. run. She's got, she's got a bit of a... I thought she would. There. It just took a while to get her to actually... Once they, once they get used to the game too, they just absolutely lose their mind. Oh, like yesterday. Yeah. We had our whole pack out we doing this, three and before it worked, but it kept chewing through the line, kept attacking the thing, like they go pulling, manic, pulling the uh, pulls out of the ground. <laughs> it even, it even, um, I saw interested Diesel. Like it was yeah. one of those times yeah, where yeah. he just runs after the birds, like while we're doing anything. Yeah. But he did come in to go. Ooh, <laughs> what's that little flash across the ground? That's that, that's that lad cross, is it? Mac, is it? Is that Mac or no? Yeah, that's yeah. Come on, we did have another lady. I don't know. I haven't seen one over in this. Yeah, I think it might be in my pocket. Come on, handsome. Come here. Mm. He's a good boy. Mm. Hopefully every um everyone sees him today and just goes, What a I must have him. Yes. <laughs> Go on yeah, like and that's weaving. what Dee was saying. He really good. he just um goes in by himself. Yeah. You know, they don't even have to have him on lead. They just yeah. you know. See that 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 kind yeah. of once they get in the routine, that will gel with most people, most yeah. families. They'll, it'll just fit into their life. Yeah. I know I've got my dogs that when I say to them, get into your bed, um, they just go to their beds. Mm. Yeah. 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 Except my husky. 
It's kind. It's kind of like us when they're all <laughs> the stubborn us. husky. It's like, don't chase the cat. And then there's a couple that just do a look. <laughs> like Miss Red, or yeah, there's cattle fly past. She's so good though. She she just looks and she loves Rover. She thinks Rover's a dad. I think the cat. The cat yeah. like looks at you know because yeah. Rover literally she looks, looks like, like a big cat yeah. to her. My um, husky that that hundred hoarding case that I yeah, sorted yeah. out yeah. not last Christmas, yeah. Christmas before. Yeah, with all the Arctic breeds. Yes. Yeah. I've still got Eloise at my house, and mm. yeah, she's Eloise Walton now. <laughs> and um, she still likes to push her boundaries. Mm. Yes. And our 15-year-old cat, every once in a while I see her go, that's because Teddy's gone, boing, boing. <laughs> and she won't, she won't attack. Yeah. She knows that yeah. Teddy's the boss. Yeah. The, all the dogs go like this when Teddy's cranky. He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they will walk a mile around because Teddy's on the prowl. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. It is funny. I think, I think they just know that they're outgunned. The yeah. cats are just. Yeah. Even when uh, Kitty Rose is playing, but she's like real rough playing and she's trying yes. to fight me. I'm like, I'll wrestle with her a few times and then she'll get those back legs in, kicking with the claws. I'm like, ah, enough, enough, stop. She, she flings herself, like flies uh, in the air and lands on their head, like with like all her mittens in, yeah, you know, and they just go, in. whoa. They're like, what am I dealing with here? Some kind of alien. <laughs> some kind of ninja some assassin. Needs, somebody needs some therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like it's her favourite time in yeah. the evenings when all the dogs come in and yeah. she's got all these playmates. And, you know, sadly, you know, we've always introduced our dogs to the cats and cats to the dogs. But the other day we had a gentleman bring in a, a cat and it was deceased. Oh, and, um, dear. It broke my heart. It wasn't microchip, so I couldn't call the owner. Oh, no. cat was. But she had a stuffed toy with her. She was carrying oh. around a stuffed toy. So clearly somebody's loved pet. Oh dear. And she went, she jumped into their yard and the gentleman had two dogs. Oh no. They didn't know her, but must have yeah. they must have just caused some internal damage. Yeah. He was heartbroken. I was heartbroken. Oh dear. And I still can't find her owner. Oh, that's and, such a sad story. Yeah, and his dog, one of his oh, dogs was a Look at this little guy. Hello, buddy. You are so teeny weeny. What are you doing? <laughs> Is this little boy? Which one's little boy? Which one? That's Jack. That's Jack. That's Barney. Barney that's and that's little boy. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Baby, his name is Little Boy. Hilarious. Isn't that just so cute? Barney's the one that's just And look, here comes Jack, our oldest. Jack is cute. Oh, yeah. Jack. Find the mice. Go on. <laughs> yes. Find the mice. Where are they? In that one? Yeah, shall we said. Yeah, right. <laughs> the dog's actually got a dead rat in the yard to roll in, apparently. Being on property, you see, like, oh, look at this little guy. Oh, there they go. Oh, there they go. Jack, you're missing out, bud. Look at them. They're so cute. Like, oh. And that's the two that's a bond of her, isn't it? This is our bond of here. So out of the three, the owner has told us that Jack can be rehomed by himself, but those two need to stay together. Aww. There we go, mate. I did your job. <laughs> so he's the one that can probably go, go by, by himself. himself. Yeah. Yeah. And this is another heartbreaking case that, you know, the lady's found herself homeless. She had five little dogs. She can take two to where she's going. Oh dear. And she she rang around for weeks trying to find somewhere for the three dogs to go and everybody turned her away. Oh. And we said, well, yeah, okay. As long as they can stay together in one kennel, we, we'll, we'll take them to help you. And it was just heartbreaking. She's had them since they're oh. little. Hello. 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 Hi, little cutie pie. Oh. Oh. Look at you. Oh. You're such a little cutie pie. Oh, you're so beautiful. That's not very nice. Oh, so cute. <laughs>
little cutie. There's a little cutie patootie. He's so cute. Oh, he, he sniffed out the treats. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. We love Jack Russells, don't we? Yeah. They're so cute. I've got a cattle Jack Russell at home. Do you? I don't recommend that. <laughs> I was going to say that's full That is hectic. Yeah, that is, um, and she's red cattle as well. What are you doing? Because um, Jack Russells have always been that small dog that do really well at the farm, yeah. don't, like as in the daycare, like our routine. So tough. Mm -hmm. So that mixed with a cattle dog, that is intense. Yeah, she's got the worst traits of both. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Because they're practically, uh, they practically are cattle dogs, like in yeah. tiny little bodies. Yes. Yeah. Like. Well, yeah, she looks like a red cattle just the size of a Jack Russell. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a little sweetie pie. Yeah, just past that black tree. Yeah. Where's his mate? They're both up there. Oh, okay. Right. Jack, little boy! Oh, they're gone. I think they're coming back. Oh yeah, look, it's hard to see them. Oh, they are coming. They're coming. They did look like they were yeah. the other way. <laughs> Having the time of their lives. How good is this Shrek got adopted? Yeah. That is just... I'm so and glad I wasn't is... there because I would have bawled my yeah. eyes. <laughs> but happy tears, happy yeah. tears. Yeah, there's pictures of him laying on the floor with the cat next to him on the lounge. Oh. And... That is yes. fantastic. He's sprawled out on the floor, just so yeah. happy and comfortable. Finally, like you'd just be sitting there going, finally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I've waited so long for this yeah. and it was, it was worth it. And they came in a few weeks ago to look at Haven um, oh. and met Shrek at the same time. We were a bit concerned because of how he jumped in the kennels being stressed. Mm. We were a bit concerned about that aspect. Mm. But after what he was like at Foster over Christmas and seeing yes. how relaxed he was in the house, yeah. They came back in and spent time with them again. Like, we, we definitely want to take him. Aww. So, yeah. That is just the best <laughs> thing ever, isn't it? Sure, that's not a sea eagle, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, what has it got in its mouth? Um, it's... Is that its white head? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't. It's flying. We got all dogs here, yet three. Yeah, these, these guys would be at risk, but he's, he's going, he's going. He came in really low over here. We've always been... Um, Any time the eagles are out with small like dogs. Small dog day. We used to do it once a fortnight. And we'd have like the drone on hands, like ready to launch it. You and had to fight if we'd tailed eagles off before with yeah. the drone. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, just hassle them. Oh, yeah. They, they attack the drone as well. Yeah. The they have taken <laughs> d like ducklings before <laughs> our <laughs> eyes <laughs> and <laughs> they take <laughs> rabbits. So... A tiny little dog. Yeah. Like you. Game. You little cutie. Look at you. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and you. And you. Yeah, that might be a bit of a hard lift, that one. <laughs> we, we don't, I honestly don't probably see them that much now. Um, like, you know, the circling. Bird. No, they used to come around and have a good With the pack we've got now, no, they'd be, be they'd be stupid yeah. to... But small dog day really attracted them, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, and they seemed to know. <laughs> like we used to come out and they'd all start circling or they'd be sitting in trees watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I remember I fought one off once. It was really low and, yeah. and I threw a ball at it and it just flew off to another tree and sat there and watched. Waiting. So smart, we, we, we did have one fly over and then it disappeared came back around this way and just came low and hard right down at us and we quickly saw it at the last minute you know waved our hands up in the air and it pulled up circled and disappeared mm. but they come in hard looking for an opportunity mm. a little dog like that and on a hill mm. like this they'll just we were the same at Erina we had a big koi pond oh yeah, Ooh, yeah. we we had eagles there as well and one of our big yeah. boys went yeah. And it, yeah so then we ended up getting the netting and throwing it over yeah. but 
there was one time that we went out there, one of the nets was actually ripped apart. Like they did wow. try. Oh, they got in. They tried, oh, they tried to, to get in. didn't get it. Yeah. They tried. Yeah. Yeah, that's persistent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, after. You do see. Yeah, you're stinky. That's right, yeah. yeah. And they're, and they're smart. Stinky. They'll know that yeah. you know, no, everyone's gone. Yeah. Good boy. You're a little cutie. <laughs> you're a little cutie boy. Surely someone's going to come forward for these yeah. guys. Yeah. I mean, who can resist that little face? I mean, nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody can. Who can resist that face? Yeah. Yeah. Little boy. Little boy. Little boy. <laughs> little boy is there both six, six, six and a half, I think. <laughs> See him just cruise along the fence line. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's normally the most timid out of them. Is he? Yeah, oh, wow. He, he sometimes, when you pick him up, he'll just like scream and yelp for no reason. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he's happy as he is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. We've been working with Dozer to get, you know, the dog that fakes a limp. Yeah. yeah. Just putting him in the van, driving him to the local park, and yeah. making him walk back oh to the facility. Oh, and how's that going, Dee? Whatever, to go walker, back to the park? He drags all the way back to the facility, but we've had success twice now. Okay, great. Yeah. So just keep getting him out and, That's yeah. what we have to do. He's so institutionalised that... When Pete um, tried to get him out through the gate, he wouldn't go. And I said, Pete, pick him up and carry him to the van. He squirmed that much that Pete had to put him down to readjust. Yeah. And the lead came off his head. And instead of running out the gate to the road, he ran straight to the pound oh, gate and wow. waited for us to open the gate. Oh, gee. You know? So, so um, you know, if, if you were to describe... You know what kind of person Dozer would be looking for? Like, just somebody at home. Yeah. He doesn't even have to have somebody at home. He just wants a yard or a home where he's yep. not expected to have to go out. He doesn't like to be out mm. in the, the community. Yeah. He's quite happy. He just wants his own home. He wants his own home. He's not good with other animals, whether or not that's his anxiety that's mm -hmm. heightened it. Yeah. We don't know if he's been attacked or anything mm -hmm. in the past. We don't know. But he's happy yeah. to be in a yard by himself. Yeah. Yeah. And he's happy not to have to have high energy demands where you must take him for a walk twice a day. He doesn't like it. Mm. I've got a dog like that. He doesn't like it. Yeah. That's, he puts yeah. the brakes on. Yep. And I make him. And yes. He drags me all the way home. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dozer's exactly right. Well, you've seen where Dozer's faked a limb. Yeah. We've taken him to the vet yeah. several times. Yep. Yep. And once he gets to the vet, he's running around. Goodness. It's just that, don't make me walk. Yeah. Don't make me leave my security area. Yeah. And he's got so much love to give. Yes. He just loves hanging with people. Mm. Surely there is somebody out there that fits that, you know. That's not honestly doesn't yeah. sound that that much, you know. He not just wants really. his own space there where he feels like he belongs and you know, he feels safe. Exactly. Somebody that is struggling for companionship mm. would be the ideal home for him. Mm. We've um had some beautiful people subsidize his adoption, so he's only two hundred dollars. Yeah. And the fact is he's not high energy. He doesn't need a lot. He just wants to hang with somebody. Mm -hmm. And even if you go out, as long as he's in his yard, he's mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. 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 Mm. There's got to be a home out there for him somewhere. Yeah. So um, is Dozer going to come? Or this is not his... Well, is he, are you going to bring yeah, him yeah. out? Yeah, Dozer's yeah. here. We'll let him run around. Okay. Hey, Dozer. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Hi. Boy, good boy. Do you see all those cows and horses? Because it's wearing an RSPCA tag. You're right. They said they can just see what the name is. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
beautiful. You're my beautiful boy. You're my beautiful boy. Oh no, I'm trying to get the like wasp or something. <laughs> this is our little boy. Kills when you do that, that little twing, isn't it? Oh yeah. He's only tiny, you can see how, how small he is. He's a little pint sized guy. Hey. What are those ears? They're beautiful. Sexy ears. <laughs> in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went to do a wee and then he was just like. <laughs> So D, is this him wanting to go back in the van or? Possibly. He looks pretty happy. Hello. No fake limp. <laughs> hey doing? buddy. What are you doing? Hey. You're getting used to it here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello mate. Hello buddy. Kisses for Sam. How are you doing? Look at those ears. Look at them. They're great ears, aren't they? <laughs> Dozer. Hello mate, should we run this out for you? What do you reckon about this? We're not quite sure, are we buddy? Have you seen this before Sam? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Possibly not. We always had him in the small dog area, remember? Because he didn't feel comfortable in the right. space. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Good boy. Sure, he? Anxiety, he, get, he got a little interested and then oh, he lost his focus and you now he's running off to the his safe place. Too far away. Oh, well, it was worth a shot, wasn't it, mate? <laughs> hey, buddy. It was worth a shot, wasn't it? Hey. Hey. What's that silly bag on a string, huh? Yeah. Looking for a better option, mate. So how long has Dozer? He's our longest termer now. Okay, it used to be Shrek, is that it used right? Used to be Shrek, and now it's, it's, it's Dozer. Dozer. Yeah. And uh, do you know what his story was? Just an unclaimed stand. Yeah, because the the stray thing, like the the lifting the leg and pretending to be injured, mm. is a yeah. skill that dogs usually develop if they are relying on humans for sympathy. So if he doesn't have a meal that guaranteed wouldn't surprise me if he's learned to do that to pull some heartstrings to get someone to feed him. Mm. It's heartbreaking seeing him so institutionalised. It's literally a fight to get him out of the facility for a walk.
He definitely is a bit interested in yeah, it. Yeah, he's very nervous though. Yeah. <laughs> Is that on your jacket or just off your jacket? No, on the pee bag. Yeah. <laughs> but let's just pull this out. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. <laughs> it's usually one of our hats if it comes off. Yeah. I remember you saying that one of the dogs got <laughs> into your hat. Yeah. Was it? Remember he peed on you? It was yeah. Roscoe. And you said Roscoe. I got your pee pulled. <laughs> yeah. We've been peed on. I've been peed on by Bandit. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got a treat in here. I caught the first one. A treaty? I didn't see the second one, and then hours later, the second one turned up. And I, I chased it from no. one street to another into somebody's yard. They had stuff everywhere. I went sliding on my backside, oh, no. trying to get this roast. And then I put it with the other rooster thinking, well, if they were together, there's a good oh, chance it's probably identical. Oh, one's, yeah. one's white and one's black. Black is red. They were so happy to see oh, it. Oh, were they? Oh, yeah. Good. So I'm guessing brothers. Yeah, right. No hens there, obviously. No hens. Yeah, I remember at our last place, there were some chickens and a rooster that were just roaming wild. But they used to come past the house every day. Yeah. And if I if I crow, he would just like staunch up at the window and crow back like, no, no, these are my hens. You know, and you get real defensive. <laughs> well, last so, night I was sitting there nothing. in the office and I hear, <laughs> and I'll yell out, Russell! <laughs> because I've got the clear um, roof lining so to protect, so they don't uh, yeah. peck each other. So there's Russell on the other enclosure. Peck, 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 Russell, stop that! <laughs> okay. Russell. Oh, what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Just can't be happy with having some guests in the facility. He's got a peck. But Venus jumped over our fence twice in with... Oh, she might have even done it three times. Yeah, three times into where Russell was, face to face. And then Gee, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. I was like, oh, Russell <laughs> flew in there. She wasn't even interested in hurting Russell. That's great. She just kept jumping in because I was in there. Unlike Roscoe. Unlike Roscoe. <laughs> I think she also does it for fun because you weren't in there the first time she did it. No. And she just walked around, walked straight past Russell, didn't care. Mm. Um, so I'd, I Any know, chance she would have lived with, you know, chickens or roosters? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. You know, and they're just not a thing to her, maybe. Yeah. But where Roscoe, when he saw <laughs> Russell, he just went over the fence. And by the time I jumped over the fence very badly, by the way, um, and got him, Russell had then flew back over the other fence and then Roscoe did it with ease. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me not so much. <laughs> then I had to dive on Roscoe, get him into a, a headlock basically. Oh dude. Russell. Oh yeah, poor I Russell. The first time Roscoe saw Kitty and he just had breakfast in his eyes. <laughs> Is he good with her now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet she kitty raised him. Wow, she, she was scared of him for a while. Him. Yeah. And she thought, oh, okay. Uh, you're serious. Is, yeah. yeah. But now she knows that Roscoe's got his hands tied. And uh, so she comes up, it's, plays with his tail. Yeah, kitty. Tickles him on the nose. She's got it all. She's real smart. She's yeah. got it all worked out. She yeah. knows that once they're trained, she's a no-go. Yeah. And so then she teases them. But she won't tease them if they're not at that point. So she wait until you guys are in the room to do it so that if it does go bad, she knows that you guys are going to... They sleep together yeah, no, all night, they all sleep together. unsupervised. Yeah. So it's, she... It's, we, we wouldn't leave the dog unsupervised if we didn't trust the dog. Yeah. So if, yeah. Like there's a... Like the shepherds um, we put in a room just because... Not because of kitty, but just because they'll... Get into absolutely everything. Yeah, it's more yeah. that um, they might 
rip our bins apart. <laughs> Well, it would be fun. So they got their own bedroom. Fun. Let's make our own fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wake up and the couch is all the fluffing thing. <laughs> oh, this is not a squeaky pig, guys. Okay. They're probably fine now, but they're just they're used to um, having their own they bedroom. Like now, <clears throat> they do. Mac, I think, has just been out with Shelby in the other yard. Did you want to bring Mac over and we do a, like a little Why piece? Why do we do Mac and Venus? Is Mac good with other animals? Uh, not sure. He, or Not with males. Um, he's the one, I think, with Abby. He was a little bit weird and send off fish, but after a while was sniffing her. was okay to be in a presence, but I don't know if he'd Get over be excited. playful enough or like put up with her. You do whatever you think. We're happy to just to have Mac. Let's, let's just get him in for a run on the lure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And so get Dozer Yeah, look at Dozer trying to get back. Mm. He wants to get back into his den. He's my worry child at the moment, Dan. Mm. Yeah. And it's a bit like what you said. He doesn't need a lot. No. Just a lonely person that wants some companionship. Mm-hmm. So with sorry, D. We've got Mac coming in now, and yeah. he's a Staffy Cross Lab. We think he's a Staffy Cross Lab. He was an un, un microchip stray. Mm -hmm. um, we can see the lab in him. We can see the Staffy in him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a beautiful he, he boy. Par, he passed as just a black lab, just one of those chunky labs, you know. Yeah. You get them. They do, yeah. They do, um, get I some can't. I can't remember. I know that there were two in there that looked there was similar. Two. They were yes. And I had a bite risk on one because that dog used to attack, like charge at people. Um, but Mac is very easy going. Yeah. He was a little bit standoffish when he first came. Oh, he's a cute size Labrador. Yeah. 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 The ranger um, couldn't get him off the vehicle and neither could Tani. So we did have to actually pole him off the vehicle. Um, but what it was was fear-based. Yeah. And so, the longer Hello, he's mate. been in at the facility, <laughs> Look at him, he's, he's a cutie. Mac. Hi. He's like a little Hercules, Yay. like a little kind of puppy, chunky Labrador. Hello. Hello, beautiful boy. Hi. Oh, you're all wet. Hello. Hello. He's gone for a swim. Hi. Hello. 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 And how old is Mac D? I think we estimated him to be about 10 or 11 months. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look at his teeth again, but I'm pretty sure... So he's sure only a puppy. Yeah, he's only a puppy. There's just so many smells at this tree. Yeah. It's hard to... This is the meeting point. Yes. Sensory overload. Yeah. Apparently, he spent most of his time in the, in the water, water. playing. That's all the Labrador. Yeah. 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 Shelby said he was oh, playing. Hi, Hi, how are you? Hello, beautiful boy. Hello, beautiful boy. I do have some treats in there. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty much all, all Labrador. <laughs> Hello, beautiful boy. He's also got that um, 
Yeah. That wiggle bum, yeah. you know, like the yeah, yeah. the labby wiggle. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Down. Good boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Toritos. See it? Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy and you're gentle. Oh. You didn't need it? No, he spat it out. Hello, Are you sure there's lab in there, D? <laughs> Tony and I were trying to take photos of him on Monday. He would keep spitting the treats out, keep spitting him out. And then when she gave him a whole biscuit, oh. like bone biscuit, he ate it then. Yeah, right. The dry treats are, the dogs can be a bit selective on. Healing perfectly. No, she is the perfect healer, isn't she? I think that's the only thing I taught her. <laughs> you did. You definitely taught her to heal well. Yeah, I remember when she was about six months old. Never did any training with her because she's this cute little pug. You did. Just for everyone at home, the the dog knew how to sit and you know that kind of stuff, yeah, like just basic. Was. You know, this the basic puppy yeah. thing. Not uh, the formal training nah, no that, formal, that we do. You know just simple stuff. Anyway. Yeah. I remember she started to um, get a little bit cattle dogish. I was like, right, that's it. No more of this. Time to listen. And I was healing with her. And gee did she fight me on the heel. You remember that? Yeah, but now she's a great um healer. Of course. She, she does like a perfect um, motion, a boundary in motion at, um, like when you, you know, when you go on the motorbike. Yeah, and anything. She, she's great now. Yeah. I'm just remembering when she first started because she had this ultimate freedom and then all of a sudden I put a lead on and started making a heel. She's like, what's this control you're trying to do? And she started doing barrel rolls and trying to resist as much as she could. And I'm like, oh, she's got a bit of an attitude. <laughs> but yeah, now she loves it. Heels perfectly. Hello, so uh, there's actually been a, because we are in summer. Um, Hello, Hello, Maggie. And so, hey, Maggie. Boy, boy. you know, everyone can hear Cooper's breathing oh, yeah. in the background. Yeah. And so there's been a few more um, comments or questions uh, than normal about um, Cutie Pie having <laughs> surgery. About that, that she should. Yeah. Has, sure has. has she or yeah, should sure she? Has. Yeah, so at six months old when no, she... No, no, no. Was it nine ten months? months? Ten, ten months. months. Yeah. When she got dissexed. Yeah. 
um, she had her five out of five BOAS um, yeah. surgery by a brachycephalic specialist. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, ringing up around and asking if they did five of the five or the standard two of five and yeah. they didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, so two or three is, is standard practice yeah. when they get dissexed, but, but I remember, being a five I remember when five. as soon as they're like, uh, what are you talking about, five oh five, what's that mean? I was like, you're not the vet for me. Yeah. But so, we ended up going with one of the highly, most highly recommended uh, vets in, in New South Wales, didn't we? Because we were going to get a vet fly down from Queensland. Queensland. She was booked in, but then COVID hit. That's right. And she kept pushing back, kept pushing back, and not not state, like not her fault. Like it was just COVID. No, the borders and, were closed. Yeah, like it. She wasn't allowed yeah, to fly in the state. It was crazy. Totally understandable. Yeah. Um, and it's probably why um she didn't get the surgery until ten months That's now. Right. I realise. Yeah. Um, because I thought it was earlier. And then we booked with someone here, yeah. Um, and I remember the test that they said in terms of, like, when we went for the follow-up um, appointment with yeah. the surgeon after the surgery, and um, he talked about what what the test was in terms of, um, you know, if they're doing okay um, post or even pre-surgery, like, you know, to, if, if your dog... Um, you mean the physical exam? You know like that, the assessment? Well, it's that twenty-five thirty. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. Um, so, so it, what it means is they they need to be able to do thirty minutes of exercise um, and not like you know collapse like that's, that's, and lie down yeah. um, in twenty-five degrees Celsius uh, temperature. Yeah. Um, and. Cutie pie far exceeds. Ah, oh, she. That. I remember when we looked at what the test was for them. I was like, Cutie pie does that before breakfast. Yeah. So um, even though she still is loud, um, yeah, I think that's just her. She passes the test, and she's a very fit pug. Yes. Um, she doesn't snore or anything like that. No. Sorry? Oh, there he is. That'd be good if they could.
um, still on the topic of PewDiePie. Oh yeah. Um, people have asked about where PewDiePie fits in the pack dynamics. Is there a, a boss title? <laughs> He definitely uh, holds some serious rank, doesn't she? She does, yeah. She's got uh, them all fooled. Yeah, she does. <laughs> She's got them wrapped around her little finger with a little spell. <laughs> um, there's a few of the dogs that just ignore her, but there's also a few that, you know, try to win her affection and she usually does the one finger technique. And they're on their back. Oh, let me up. It's funny. She, she knows her strength. Yeah. And her strength is she's little. She'll bite you in the tender bits, under the armpits, in the groin. And she'll just wear you down. And she plays the long game. Like a big powerful dog. We'll just pin you right then and there and be like, I'm boss. Whereas Peter Pie will be like, uh huh, you want to ignore me? No problem. Three weeks later, they're exhausted and they're like, oh my goodness, this dog won't leave me alone. If you win. <laughs> it's a funny game she plays, isn't it? It is. And so, what's the armpit licking? You know, because she does, a lot of people see that yeah. when, you know, it's more cuddle time um, yeah. and they've asked, well, you know, because we oh, we talk about her, you know, biting them under the arms yeah. and on the elbows and on the lips, uh -huh. hanging off their lips, you know. Yeah. But um, we also see her licking their underarms, yeah, yeah. you know, when it's a more uh -huh. calmer, they've already submitted, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, um, you know, when you get a nice hard bit of mitt and you tenderise it. <laughs> Pacifying, yeah, she's yeah. removing the hair, just you know, <laughs> seasoning it a little bit, and just reminding them that, hey, I know about this spot. You know, it's a mental game she's playing. See, it is a mental game with her, yeah. isn't it? It has to be. It is, but they've submitted, so then it sounds from bite to lift. Mm. just sort of kept piling on and it was just like a bumper effect and he just got pushed in but he, he did well didn't he? He did good boy Barney well done buddy good boy I wish that was it you know for him like you know now he just wants to get in all the time go for it go on Barney good boy you're gonna get in again he might you never know Good boy, Barney. Wasn't that bad, was it? He'd be a he'd be a real weapon if he actually, you know, yeah. got the confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because he loves Pretty toy good. time. He, he, he loves to be competitive too. So. Yeah. So, we've got a delivery here <laughs> that uh, we didn't get to on our last package opening and we've obviously accidentally left it behind and the dogs have decided that they knew what it was and decided to open it themselves because I was like, what's going on here? I saw Maggie over there, she's like licking up a peanut butter jar and I'm like, what's happening? There's another one here. Chance has got, and I'm like, where are all these jars coming from? I look at the table, they've opened up a box of, and it happens to be the peanut butter. How hilarious. It's funny because they love parcel opening oh. so much now. And they've just decided that. Yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. And then they've looked at this package and gone, there's goodies in here. This is, this is going to be bad. I can see in six months time, all our mail is just going to be torn to bits. There's all the, there's all the treats. <laughs> but I can't find... Um, so just, oh, and just for everyone at home. Um, so this has obviously been left in here accidentally. Yes. But correct. we've just had shelter dog day. Um, which means that the dogs are in here. Yeah, so we put them all in here so they go for a swim, hang out. It's too. You know. It's a really hot, it's day. A really hot day. They so can't be in the garage. There's this is, no. This is all they do when they're in here. They just hang out there. Go for a swim. Chill yeah. Out, sunbake, whatever. But there's no like there's no windows or but airflow. I had no idea that we'd accidentally left garage. one package in here, and it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> so they've just so helped no themselves to it. That, uh, yeah, look, 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 Benjo behind us here. He's got one too. <laughs> what you got there, buddy? What is it, buddy boy? It's like they've made their own cons with stuffed peanut butter, you know. <laughs> Come in. Are you gonna come in, darling?
tank. He's interested. I don't want that one. Ah! Everyone wants your um, spring roll recipe. You're gonna have to pass it on and I'll. 
<laughs> we'll have to start like a Chris's cooking segment. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I can't remember. <laughs> we'll have to check. What a good girl. You were so clever. You were such a clever girl. Are you going to jump in? Are you going to jump in? Are you going to duck dive? Are you going to duck dive? I'll catch you. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Good girl, good girl, good girl. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job. You gonna come in, Katie? <laughs> Oh, 
little cute stuff. Look at you. You are the cutest little swimmer in the world. Good girl, kitty pie. Good girl, kitty pie. You gonna come in, Shadow? You gonna come in? What about you, Miss Red? Miss Red, come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What about you, Hope? You gonna come in? Good girl, Matilda. Good girl. Oh, yes, come on. Yes. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> Good girl, Matilda. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. <laughs> Chat in the I mean, I've been I could hear her grumbling and growling before. Oh, must have been that. Oh, miss. Swimming, doing laps. He's a fish, isn't he? It's like they make up for lost time. Don't they? He, he's definitely the same as like Roscoe and Nevaeh and yeah. Tank and Shop. As soon as he's discovered he can swim. He's amazing new talent. Yeah, he's totally making up for lost time. Just jumping yeah. in again by himself. <laughs> Yeah, that's the right one, the right colour. But those are empty. We've used those ones already. These are the full ones. And we've got some here. That one's full. 
And then we put some... <laughs> that's the one. That's heavy, though. That's 20 kilos worth. Here we go. We're going to put some chain lube on. You come spray the lube. Spray. Spray. You're a strong little guy, aren't you? Good job, mate. Here we go. Watch. Watch. You want to spray? Wolfie. Wolfie, watch. Spray. You like spraying things, don't you? Yeah, we spray the spray this down here, down here, that one. Yeah, spray, spray. Oh yeah, we don't want to just spray everything. That's it, mate. Oh, don't waste it. Don't waste it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Well done. What else do we want to spray? Do we want to spray something else? Here we go. Put some petrol in. Ready? Yeah, you want to help me? No, no, it doesn't go in the mouth, that one. Not in the mouth. Here we go, I need that. Oh no, we don't put that in there. Yeah, I need that. Ready, watch. This goes back in here like this. And then we put it like this. Yeah. This is called the funnel. Or the spout. You don't need a funnel with one of these. Ready? Now we pour it in like this. You want to do it? Mm, this might be a bit hard to film and do it. Maybe we can do something like this. Right here we go, you ready? You can help Dad. Did the wind blow it off? Ready? You help me. Help me. That's it, hold it. Oh, good job. That's it. Pour it in. And then tip it up. See? You see it going? Yeah. That's right. That's how you fill it up. Oh. You see? Do it this way. There we go. Look. See? Yeah, that's how you refuel it. We're empty. How far do we get? Oh yeah, we're full. That's all right, we're full anyway. Now put the lid on. Fuel cap. That's the way, just like that. Good job. Now we've got to set the jerry can back. Ready to undo it? Yeah. No, that's where the full ones go. Empty ones down here. Empty ones down here like this. They're the empty ones. Good job, buddy. Yep, that's it. Do the cap back on. That's it, mate. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Thanks for helping, Dad. Thank you. Bye. And the bike. We can get back on the bike now. We've got some fuel. Yeah. All right, let's do it.